this video I'm going to be unboxing and inspecting a set of Pro Comp, currently known as Speedmaster, small block Chevy iron cylinder heads. I got these heads, the set, off eBay for about $208 each head before taxes. So about $450 is shipped. And they are supposed to be Vortex style. I'm not sure if that's the just you know the, the ports intake flange or whatnot. I haven't opened it up to take a look yet for myself, so we'll see here in a few. But they are 185 cc intake runner, 64 cc chamber, straight plug, 202 intake valve, 16 exhaust. Supposedly they have bronze guides, you know, we'll see. And they are bare cylinder heads. As I said, I got them on eBay for, you know, a good price. I looked on um, Speedmaster's website as well, and they were on there listed as clearance. So, you know, we'll see. I mean, people know the Pro Comp Speedmaster reputation. So, I think we know how this could go. But, you know, they were a good price. I like iron heads, and I couldn't find nothing about these heads when I looked online. So, I'm interested to see what they are, or how they are. Stay tuned, I'm gonna get, you know, changed, get some work clothes on, and we'll get started. Before we get started, I wanna note the condition of these boxes. Now, of course, they are iron heads, and they are very heavy. But, this is not my first set of new, brand new iron heads. The, the boxes I got that were for my Sportsman World product heads did not look like this. I'm not sure if this is a sign that the heads have been returned, maybe. I mean, they still look like they're, they're wrapped in paper in there, so I don't know. It could be just a sign that they've, they're, they're old new stock and they've been shuffled around from place to place. I did think it, was, think it was interesting that you can see right here, they have a Speedmaster sticker on them, part number. Actually, that one, this one's over here. Right over here, a little harder to see. Oh, and you see right here. I mean, it's been taped over the, the blown out section. So, I mean, again, they could just have been old stock and shuffled around. Yeah, I'm leaning towards old stock and just shuffled around. And you can see how the paper's like torn in spots, but I mean, getting it back on and wrapped, I think would be, you know, they haven't been returned. They're just old stock shuffled around. Look good so far. Appears they have both standard and Vortec bolt pattern. That's good. Now let me open them up. First heads out, and I had to cut it out of that paper, so I'm almost positive that they're, they're just new old stock and they're not returns. So far, I'm, I'm pleased with what I see because the picture on the eBay ad, which I'll throw one up here in a second, that picture, the head looked different. It almost looked like it was painted in the valve cover area. And it is not, it's just your, your typical, you know, cast iron gray, you know, not painted, which is good. Cause it looked like black in the pictures. And also the pictures did not have both bolt patterns. This has the Vortec bolt pattern and your standard 12 bolt pattern. So that, that's, that's good. I'm happy about that. Also, I noticed the ports, don't look quite Vortec. I mean, maybe a tad, but if they are, they're short. They look more of your typical, close to your typical, you know, standard port. This is a 1205, by the way. You know, so a little bit of grinding and they'll be, they'll be rectangular. I mean, you could, I guess you could grind them a little taller and make them more Vortec issue, but eh, I, I think I want them to be not Vortec, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, of course, they do have, you know, Apparently they have bronze guides, so that's another plus. What else? Oh, they have these moisture packets crammed in a couple of the exhaust ports. So that, that's great. I, mean, I, I haven't seen any rust on this head so far. The deck looks good. I mean, so far, no, you know, obvious imperfections that I can see right, you know, right away. You know, they got traces of oil. The valve job looks a little funky on the intakes. I don't know. I mean, we'll look into that more later. 
Another reason I wanted to get these heads is because they have a nice chamber shape. Similar to, you know, a lot of other modern chambers. Not quite ideal, but good. And the ports. It's going to be hard to get the lighting on this right. The ports look similar. Here, look at this light. Similar to, um, there. Similar to the Pro Comp 215s or 210s I looked at. But they're, they're obviously the 185s are much smaller. And they're better. I, I like these ports. They're not ideal because the boss is a little on the small side. But they're, they're, they're better. So, so far, so good. I'm going to pull off the other head and we'll go from there. Well, second head's pretty much the same. Nothing obvious wrong with it. Um, a few more things I noticed. You can see a faint part number right here on both heads. This one's a little harder to see if you got to get the right angle. And the numbers are the same except for the last four digits. Those, those are different. So they must be something to do with the, the last four must be something to do with the date. I don't know. Um, I noticed that it appears they take a gasketed plug, not like, you know, a vortex style tapered, but, you know, longer thread plug. So that's interesting. It's, you know, something I prefer, actually. And they are perimeter and center valve cover bolt patterns. So that's, you know, plus I like the perimeter valve covers myself. Oh, and see right here, they are pretty much a Felpro. 1404 gasket and that one was a 1205 earlier for the intake so they're not huge ports I and mean, i wouldn't expect them to be huge for you know 185 cc head so there it is um i'm gonna get started checking them you know the basic standard checks i do check all the threads put a few valves in there check the seats check the deck for flatness you know that kind of things you know see if i see anything wrong i mean actually I haven't seen a speck of rust on them, and so they definitely were packaged better. I mean, the World Products has they had some rust. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but you know, it's a little bit of rust here and there. These so far so good. I mean, I really wasn't expecting them to be this good. <laughs> I mean, I was like, ah, program, we'll see. <laughs> but you know, that's how things go sometimes. So awesome! I'll get to checking them. And we'll let you know how they turn out. I'm done checking all the threads on both cylinder heads and this one over here has one bad intake thread right here. The other head has a bad end thread on either side, one right here and the other side is more of the center. Plus it has two bad valve cover ones, one for the perimeter pattern and another for the center. So, so far, eh, not a big deal, they're all fixable. Um, I also checked that the plug fitment is nice and flush on all eight combustion chambers, so that's that's good. Moving on to the next test. Both heads check out mostly flat. This one over here has got a couple low spots on either end, right around here-ish and down here. But I can only get the one to go, not the two, so it's you know it's good enough. This head now, right around this area. I can easily get the one to go. You can see right there. And right there. Sometimes a little further down if I play with the straight edge. I've already checked that there's no burrs on the edge. The holes are all deburred. So it's just low on this side. Now the two, I can only get to kind of grab, you know, part of the way down. If I move it around, sometimes I can get to go through on the very end. But when I go to the three, it's not grabbing anywhere. You know, it's it's within spec. I mean, I've checked the head. You know, you know all various X pattern sideways, so it's 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 good enough. There are a few flaws, you know, defects on the deck. There's a spot here, which is you know no big deal. This spot is just outside the firing on that head gasket, which is a little larger bore, but, you know, typical head gasket. And it's a couple more spots over here outside the firing and, you know, on the edge again. So, you know, eh, good enough. 
I was just about to get started checking the valve seats, but then I noticed that the guides appear to be kind of dirty. I'm not sure how well the camera's going to pick this up. We'll see if we can get a good shot of some. Now, it may be just dried oil. I'm not sure. You know, this head is nice and oily, but they do look kind of, you know, dirty to me. These two on the end over here, I've already brushed them out, and they definitely look better after. Only takes a few minutes with a guy brush. Better safe than sorry. Houston, we have a problem. There is no contact patch on either valve. I've checked these two seats and these two seats. Now, I think I know what the problem is. Let me show you here real quick. Does that valve look like it's sitting kind of high? I think that these heads are not as advertised. Let me turn this up a better shot. I think these heads are meant for, you know, 1.9 and 1.5 valves. And they were advertised for 202 and 16. I also noticed earlier that it appears every seat is a new seat or installed seat. They are not integral like you normally see on a cast iron head. So that's interesting. I don't know, maybe they're their salvage heads because they got installed seats and guides. I don't know. I still gotta check this other head. And then I think I got some smaller valves inside. And we'll check those. Okay, I just checked the second head. After cleaning out the guides, of course. And more of the same. No pattern. See for yourself right here. The exhaust valve is sitting kind of high. Same with the intake. I mean, it's hard to see in the intake, but it is high. So I'm pretty sure either the valve job screwed up or these heads were machined for smaller valves. Now, I don't have any smaller valves to check them right now. I mean, I do, but they're, they're oversized stems. And these are standard, so. At this point, I just gotta contact the merchant and see where we go from here. Because this is clearly not as advertised. The ad said 202.16. Whether they need a valve job or for different size valves, this is not what I bought. Well, that's not what I wanted to buy. To be continued. Time for a bit of an update, but not really. I've contacted or messaged the merchant a couple times, but I haven't heard anything back yet. Although, last night I was watching some YouTube videos, and I remembered that I do have some valves. I completely forgot I ordered these exhaust valves for the Vortec heads I have, which are down there behind that trash bin for this donor engine over here I was going to you know just replace the exhaust valves because they were pretty nasty the intakes I I do have but they're used and I don't want to put used valves in these new heads and check them because they need to be lapped I want to lap them in the heads that I'm going to use them in not these heads I want just new valves in these heads so anyways I have some exhaust valves to check and see if those are smaller seats, which I'm thinking they are. So give me a second and we'll check that. Confirmed. The seats in these heads are machined for the smaller valves. This is a 1.5 valve, and that is a 1.6 valve. Well, here, let me show you here real quick. See for yourself all the way around, nice and wide. Probably a little too wide, but you know, good enough. 
Drop that sucker in there. Sits a little lower. Compared to over here. Oh, put right next to it. Come on. There we go. See for yourself? Side by side. <laughs> Actually, they don't look a ton different. <laughs> but we know that one has a good contact patch and that one doesn't even touch. So, there it is. I even went and checked their website, the Speedmaster website, and for this part number of these heads, it says they are 20216 valves. Then I went and checked Summit's website, 20216 valves, and of course the eBay ad, 20216 valves. But they are, at least for the exhaust, 15 confirmed. Probably 19 for the intakes. So, there it is. Maybe they were old stock or mislabeled. They could be a different part number that was offered in different valve sizes. I don't know. If they ever get back with me, maybe we'll find out. For now, now that I know the valves are smaller, we can move on to checking the throat size. Before I go over the throat results, I want to show you here basically how I measured them. I will measure here at the, at the base of the seat, and there is a tighter area below that. You know, just a bit tighter in some spots. But that is where they machine for the seat. And typically, you know, before I use these heads, I would blend that out so it'll get smaller. And these spots, like right here, there's a nice lip on the exhaust side. You can see that right there. Over here on the this intake right here. I would blend that all out. And there are other spots that you can see right here where the, the casting is like in a little bit, you know, a little, little flash and garbage on either side as well. And I would, you know, blend that in. So the results are for the intake I got well I'm, I always forget if it's 1.94 or 95 I, I typically deal with 202 so I just calculated for 95 we got 1.74 which is 89% for the exhaust we got 1.24 calculated for 1.5 valve at 83% now if we had a 202 valve you know we machine these seats larger the seat it would calculate at 86 percent and sometimes that's what you know aftermarket porters do they will machine for a larger valve so they can you know shrink the, the throat down for some customers even better like response now if we had a 1 6 exhaust valve let's see 1.24 divided by 1.6 equals 77 and a half, so basically 78% throat, which is pretty small. So I'm not sure. I'm not a machinist. You mean you have to, you know, grind it out some more to get that throat size up. But there it is. We got the throats measured. There's one more thing I want to compare while we're waiting on the merchant to get back with us, and that is I want to pull out a Vortec head because. The ad did say these are Vortec heads, and I believe it's mostly because they have that Vortec pattern on there. But now they also share the same size as Vortec. And these ports look kind of small, and they may be close to Vortex, but we got one, so we'll set them up side by side and compare them here real quick. Okay, I'm all set up. I went and grabbed a GM Vortec head and an aluminum generic eBay head. So we can compare a few things but before we get to that I want to mention that the pro comp cast iron head is heavy it is by my guess roughly 10 pounds heavier than the cast iron GM vortex head my scale is broken right now so I can't get a you know an accurate result my postage scale I may get another one before the end of this video because I like to measure things like this to compare but for now I can tell you when I pick that head up it feels about 10 pounds heavier you know, at least five. It's definitely heavier. And that head has the studs. This one is completely bare. 
So let's get it on with the comparison. We'll start with, um, first off, the chamber. You can see right here, the chamber on the Procom head is nothing like a Vortec chamber. You have this, you know, spark plug boss right here, and it's just, you know, overall shape is not the same. It is very similar to the eBay heads, or when I compare these eBay heads to the Pro Comp aluminum heads. But I actually think, if my memory is right, that these um, Pro Comp cast iron heads are a little better than the aluminum version. Although they still have the low in the chamber spark plug. You can see over here it's higher located up in the chamber I mean, towards the roof on this eBay aluminum head and even on the Vortec. I mean, it is central and I like it more central but it's, it's low. I mean, you're not going to get many cleanups out of that before you're into the threads. So I don't like that. It's not ideal. But the chambers look basically the same size. You know, 64 cc. I thought at first they might be a little smaller, but you know, they're probably about the same. They're close enough to 64 cc. Moving on to the runners, the intake runners. We can see on the Procomp head, we've got a bit of a trailing wing on the guy boss. Not much of a lead-in wing. It's more of a mound. Well, if we move over to the Vortec heads. We have no trailing wing, but a very long leading wing, and it's angled. You know, we got that angle here, which we go back over to the pro comp. You can see that mound is, you know, straight. You can shape it, but by the time you grind that down, you're not going to have much compared to this long Vortec wing. And the exhaust ports, you know, if we go down here, look at the. The port flange, it is smaller than the Procom. You know, a bit. Overall, these runners are supposed to be, I think, about you know, 10-ish cc's larger on the intakes. I don't really know on the exhaust. I don't know what the standard size is for the Vortec. I just heard that the Vortec intake runners are about 170-ish or so. I know these are supposed to be 185. So, 10-ish, 15-ish, a little bigger. And they do make aftermarket vortex that have a larger, I think, 185-ish. That's why I thought maybe these might be closer, but you can clearly see they are not. I mean, the chambers are different, the runners are different. The only vortex these heads are is the intake bolt pack, pretty much. Again, we look at the port shape on the vortex. We have a taller, where it narrows the top. Right here, and the Pro Comp. There's a little, but it's it's basically your, your typical square flange shape. You know, like these 2.0 heads. Those OG heads over here are more of a Vortec top. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see right there on the floor. Anyways, that's all I can think to compare right now. We just gotta wait and see what the merchant says. I mean, I like the Pro Comp on our heads. I like our heads. There's nothing so far wrong with them, but I don't have any 1.9 valve to check the intakes, and I only checked that one exhaust. I mean, I still need to check them off up fully. They were on sale, reduced price, but they still cost more than a set of aluminum eBay heads, which is all in all, you know, we got better runners, you know, exhaust and intake, it's just, they're just better heads. Better spark plug location, there's other things I like about the aluminum heads, other than of course they are lighter, but I mean if you're looking for you know every last pound you want an aluminum, I don't mind having heavy iron heads sometimes, excuse me. So we'll see what the merchant says and we'll go from there. While waiting to hear back, I bought a new scale, so now we can compare some cast iron cylinder head weights. We have of course the new Pro Comp Bear and a new Bear Vortec head 
it's not completely bare. It still has the Preston studs, but the only other head I have is pretty used and already grinded on some, so we're just going to use this head. And then we have this Sportsman 2 head, which is used and grinded on a little bit, you know, just some testing, not, nowhere near ported. Just a little bit of grinding, you know, here and there. I used it for my Makita die grinder video. So I threw a couple of valves in there just to kind of compensate for some of the weight loss. Just give us a rough idea. Because what I really want to know is the difference between the Sportsman 2 and the Pro Comp. The Pro Comp actually felt a little heavier to me from the start. My, you know, my memory of moving around the Sportsman 2s. And then when I just set them up, it still feels a little heavier. But not a ton. I mean, we'll see here in a second for sure. I got my tripod set up so we can get a shot of the weights. So let's get to that. Oh, and I do have some other GM heads, but they're all the way out back right now, and there's a lot of snow we just got, and I don't really care. I mean, <laughs> old GM heads aren't really that great in my opinion. I like the newer stuff, Aftermarket or, you know, Vortex, and of course the Vortex are, I don't do want to mention they are a lighter weight cast, casting compared to some of the older GM heads, but the difference in the design is just way better than the weight difference. So first off, let's start with the Pro Comp. Uh -oh. First off, let me start turning the scale on. Okay, let's zero it out here. There we go, zero. Pro Comp. And by the way, this is a 85 pound postal scale. And there we go, 51 pounds, 8.3 ounces. Uh. On to the Vortex. That's quite a bit of difference. 40 pounds, 12.1 ounce. That's with the studs too. And Sportsman 2. Now I want to mention this has the raised valve cover rail. Unlike the older version. So, there we go. Ooh, I didn't like that sound of that. Okay, let's settle. 47, 12.9. I was right, the pro comps are a little heavier. They, they felt it to me. So, that's interesting. And just for kicks, let me grab this. Now this is a heavily modified, all ported eBay head. Just, just for kicks. Of course, it's aluminum. <laughs> and a lot lighter. Time to wrap things up. Now after my experience with an intake that I bought direct from Speedmaster. I made sure to buy these heads through Speedmaster's eBay store. And because I bought them through the eBay store, I can return these heads at no cost to me since they are not as advertised. I could keep them, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to return them. But here's my reasoning why. Okay, I got some heads set up over here, and of course in the middle we got the Pro Comps right here, which are the 19415 valves, not as advertised, they were advertised as the 20216 valves. The Pro Comp heads have a decent chamber, they're a smaller runner, they're nice sturdy iron, I like cast iron heads, you know, they got the bronze guides, you know, they're not a bad head. But, if I want... A head that's going to be you know low mid range or, or iron i'm probably going to pick the vortex that, that's going to be the better head in my opinion for that job if i want a head that's more upper range larger valve i'm going to pick the ebay head that's a better design in my opinion for that job as well and it's a cheaper alternative than the pro comp the vortex they're about the same ish maybe a little more but I think they're about, maybe, maybe about, right around, I think, 300 assembled on eBay, something like that right about now, I think. 
if I want to have a small runner aluminum pet, I'm going to choose the Dart SHP or similar. If I want to have a large runner iron head, larger valve, I already have a new set of Sportsman 2's. This is not this set. I didn't feel like dragging them out. <laughs> so I'm already covered in that area once I port the Sportsman 2 heads. The Pro Comps are better out of the box, in my opinion, than the Sportsman 2's, but you know, once you put them in the work, the Sportsman 2's are going to be the better head than the Pro Comps, you know, versus the Pro Comp out of the box. You can port these up probably just as good as some Sportsman 2's, but I mean, I think they had a they have larger they had larger alternatives in the past. I don't know about now because these are clearance. Not too many places have iron heads. So I mean, it really was kind of a hard choice to get rid of iron head, these iron heads. I'm trying to return these iron heads because I like iron heads. But honestly, someone who's into circle track is going to get better probably use out of them. So I mean, I'll return them. They're probably back on Speedmaster or I think it's. AT Racing US is the, their alternative eBay store. So they'll probably be back on either of those stores if you want to check them out. Um, make sure to check out my um, my other Pro Comp cylinder head video. I have, did, did one of their 210 aluminum head a while back that I borrowed. I got you know, various other head videos and of course that intake video. But we're going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments as always. I hope this helps. Keep it real.